Hey guys, it's uh, Caleb Goldner here from Comics Alliance. Uh, this week for the toy review, we are doing Good Smile Company's Nendoroid Colossal Titan from Attack on Titan. Uh, starting with the box, you'll note that he's got a cool little pop-up extension up top. Um, the box is pretty big considering that Nendoroids are actually about half the size of like a six inch figure. They're like three and three quarters inches, sort of. Um, they vary from character to character. This figure is especially cool because Attack on Titan is a series about um, a walled city that is <laughs> attacked by these giant man-eating uh, creatures some of them just look like kind of drunk people without any genitals and they're naked and others like uh, this character the colossal titan looks like mr body uh, kind of like inside out skin monster guy uh, as you can see on the back of this box this figure is cool because since the series is about normal sized people like us um, who are Basically, teenagers look like they're in the Hunger Games with cool jackets and harnesses that make them fly around like Spider-Man with swords. It's a complicated show. Uh, it comes with a wall from their city, and it comes with some houses, and it comes with two of the shorter Titans. These are the more conventional, normal um, Titans from the show. Uh, they have classes on the show for how big the Titans are. These are the... Uh, three to eight meter class and this is the eight to 15 meter class or something and then you've got the colossal titan which is just huge he's like the size of i don't know like a 12 story building or something um so let's open him up and see what's inside the box And we should mention that Good Smile Company, which makes Nendoroids, is also releasing Figmas uh, for the main characters from the show, which are more in the six inch scale. Um, but what's cool for the Nendoroid, since you know, you're know you shrinking down the scale, you can do a big character with little accessories and it'll still all fit on your desk or shelf. Well, let's see. It's not going to really be a good way to do this without pieces flying everywhere. But bear with me. Let's take it nice and slow. Alright. So that actually wasn't that bad. Nothing went flying. Um, this right here will be the base to make the figures stand up. Pretty much a translucent. Uh, clear plastic stand with a little ring around it that will wrap around the figure's hips. This here is the Colossal Titan. He has the usual Nendoroid articulation, um, not ball jointed shoulders exactly, just kind of swivel shoulders, swivel elbow joint, uh, twisty palm, and a ball jointed head so that they can kind of nod and do that kind of thing. And then kind of ball jointed thighs and a knee joint. Um, pretty articulated for the size of the figure, but not overly articulated so that they can keep their, uh, I guess kind of Kubrick-like build, a kind of cartoony build. Um, the Colossal Titan does come with his serious face, like you would see in the manga, and he comes with his more Nendoroid cartoony face. And you can switch these out by popping them off like this. Um, you just pop off that face. And you gotta take the forehead part from the last guy. And slide it on and this face is kind of fun because he has a hinged jaw so that he can eat the little people that the figure comes with because that's what titans do man all right 
So we're going to go with the cartoony face for the rest of this vid, just seeing so see what he can do. Uh, we're going to start opening things up. He comes with two um, alternate arm pieces in case you want to swap those out. And those attach to these variant little colossal titan hands. And then the set is basically all about the city and its pieces and the little tiny. Uh, kids from the Attack on Titan world that sign up to fight the monsters and protect the city, which is a recent development in the show. So the walls themselves are designed to kind of come apart and be destroyed by the Titan so that you can recreate scenes from the show. Um, this is what the wall looks like when it's all together, but can pop out the individual pieces and you can replace them from this like sound structured wall to a wall with a big hole in it which the smaller titans can get through to get to the people inside the city um, it's a nice touch it's pretty cool I actually have it on backwards there but you can see the detail of the crater that the Colossal Titan makes. Spoilers if you haven't seen the show. Titans break through the wall and eat people. Sorry. Um, so Titans, when they get to the Colossal State, which if you haven't seen the show, there's a reason for that that they explain later. Um, they emit steam when they transform. Um, I think it's like a cool effect because they're expending energy or transforming or doing something. Uh, so they've got this steam effect which attaches to a stand so that you can position it around them wherever you want. Uh, if you want to make a fart, you can do that. So the steam effect's cool. It's a nice little chunk of translucent plastic too. And then we have all the houses and buildings that go inside the walled city. Um, here's the kids who defend the city. They have steam coming out of, they have stuff called 3D maneuver gear. Uh, it's like kind of like a rock climbing harness that shoots, I guess like CO2 or something. And so when they shoot a zip line from like their hips, they can swing around like Spider-Man and get uh, some propulsion from that. It looks neat on the show. Um, they're pretty much little Spider-Men and women with grappling hooks and swords and their food for evil giants who are mysterious. I'm just going to dump all this stuff out and start moving it around. And this, you have some stationary characters. They're all unpainted. Uh, they're all just brown plastic. If you are awesome at painting, you could probably do a little something with these. But they are tiny. Um, here's some scale for you. They're, you know, very easy to lose. So if you are super into these guys, you might want to find a place to store them. Super tiny. But what's neat, even though they're minuscule, they have a lot of detail. Um, you can see here the characters got their 3D maneuver gear and their swords, and they even have. Um, you can kind of tell which characters they are. Uh, I think Armin, Aaron, Mikasa, all the main kids are in here. Levi's probably in here, maybe. Um, but in addition to the main stars of the show, there's also characters that just look like randos. 
uh, just random people living in the city. Okay, so here we have the Colossal Titan uh, attacking the wall. We've got one of the smaller Titans, and then we have some of the uh, Survey Corps, or we'll just call them the Survey Corps kids, the stars of the show, uh, protecting the city. Uh, there's a normal human, just kind of chilling, waiting to be eaten. Um, and of course, you got the hole in the wall. Uh, zoom out a little bit, you can see I didn't quite put everything in the set yet. There's still a ton of pieces and a lot going on. Um, one thing to point out is the set comes with a really kind of funny... <laughs> um, one of the bigger titans has a hinged jaw. So, uh, and they also have, some of them have articulated arms. So this one, you can actually put one of the tiny people in its hand and it can raise it up and put it in its mouth and bite down. Um, the smaller ones, they're less articulated, but they have holes on their back that you can attach to a tiny clear stand and pop them in a clear disc and arrange them however you want. You can spin them around. Uh, you can make them walk upside down if you want. Uh, they can hold enough weight so that you can kind of pose them however you want. Uh, the houses are actually kind of crazy detailed there. I was expecting something like a Monopoly house or a Monopoly hotel, um, but they're more detailed than that. And they have chimneys on top that you can attack or attach attack the Survey Corps kids to um, so that they look like they're flying from the clear plastic on the smoke trails from their 3D maneuver gear. Uh, all in all, I think this is a pretty rad set. Um, I think it's about 65 bucks, maybe cheaper, maybe around 50, depending on where you look for it online. Um, for You get what you pay for uh, with this set. There are six inch figures that go for about the same, um, but with this you get, the main figure is a little smaller, but he has a swappable face. He has a ton of articulation for a smaller scale figure. Lots of detail. Uh, I'll show you the stand that he comes with, which is pretty standard on most Nendoroids, but um, it's especially good for him since he does a lot of climbing type activities trying to get over the wall, stomping around, crushing things, doing all the things that an evil giant does. Uh, the set also has a ton of pieces. Um, if you're kind of a casual collector, that might be, uh, I don't know if I'd say a liability, but there's a lot that you could lose in this set. Um, if you don't really care, then that's great, and you can just focus on this dude and some of the pieces but if you're hardcore, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you have uh, some kind of storage option for everything and that you keep like a master photo of everything that comes with the set so you can track stuff down later on. Uh, I would probably say that this is the best Nendoroid that I've um, messed with so far. Uh, there's a Luigi coming out in a couple months that looks pretty cool, but just as far as accessories, this is a really good execution of a smaller scale figure for a huge character who has uh, a lot that he can do. Um, you know, they're never going to do a colossal titan that's in scale with a six inch figure because he would be bigger than like the Marvel Universe Galactus. You know, it'd have to be like an 18 inch, 24 inch toy or something like that, like the one quarter scale. Hot Toys or NECA's one quarter scale figures. So, you know, for the time being, this is pretty, uh, pretty much the best Colossal Titan toy you're going to find. Um, if you guys, we have covered it before. We'll have links to that in the show notes so you can see it a little bit more up close. Until then, thank you for watching and we'll see you next time.